judgment was made in favor of the sons of the Most High. Daniel 7, 22. Among the leading causes that had led to the separation of the true church from Rome was the hatred of the latter towards the Bible Sabbath. As foretold by prophecy, the papal power cast down the truth to the ground. The law of God was trampled in the dust while human traditions and customs were exalted. The churches that were under the rule of the papacy were early complained to honor the Sunday as a holiday and made the prolating error and superstition many. Even of the true people of God became so bewildered that while they observed the Sabbath, they refrained from labor also on the Sunday. But this did not signify the papal readers. They demanded not only the Sunday be held, but that the Sabbath be profaned. And they denounced in the strongest language those who dared to show it honor. It was only by fleeting from the power of Rome that any could make a solid peace. The boldness that among the first of the peoples of Europe to obtain a translation of the Holy Scriptures. Hundreds of years before the Reformation, they possessed the Bible in Muslim script in their native tongue. They had the truth and outrated, and this rendered them the special objects of hatred and persecution. They declared the Church of Rome to be apostate, popular of the Apocalypse, and as a peril of their lives, they stood up to resist their corruptions, while well, under the pressure of long-continued persecution, some compromised their faith little by little, yielding its distinctive principles. Others held fast the truth through ages of darkness and apostasy. There were wilderness who denied the supremacy of Rome, who rejected image, worship, as idolatry, and who kept the true Sabbath. Under the fiercest tempests of opposition, they maintained their face through cast by the severed spear and scorned by the Ramish for God, they stood unflintingly for God's world and his honor. Because the lovely bulwarks of the mountains in all ages, the refuge was the persecuted and oppressed, the wilderness found a hiding place. Here the light of truth was kept rolling amid the darkness of the Middle Ages. God has provided for his people a sanctuary of awful grandeur, with feet in the mighty truth committed to the trust. To those faithful exiles, the mountains were an emblem of the immutable righteousness of Jehovah.